we have a question in the chat and the question goes in your experience as you mentioned let the girl come to you but did you ever notice yourself ever being too distant to where she may just think you don't like her even though when in person you show her you like her if i see her at the same place I will say hi quickly, but almost feels weird because I try to avoid it until we see each other and I get the vibe. She does the same thing. In terms of being too distant, it really depends on like how the scenario is set up. So for, so for example, right? If you're a person that's like in school or you're at a job, the reality is you're gonna run into this person on a regular basis. That's not a situation where we're talking about like not try like i'm gonna avoid her at work and i'm gonna avoid her at school whatever like we're not talking about that because in those realistic scenarios you're seeing them on a consistent basis but distance refers to like you know guys make the mistake of thinking they gotta be contacting her all the time they gotta be asking her out for a date every single day and that's where you being there too much is gonna cause calamity, right? So in those situations, that, that's where it behooves you to be a bit distant, you know, in the, because, because here's the thing, the purpose of having built-in distance in the beginning is to help her determine if she wants more of your time and attention, at which point she needs to be the one reaching out to you to make that happen. Perfect example, I tell you guys in the beginning, you should be asking out women once a week. We do that in part because part of your being able to read if she's growing interest is her starting to say things like, hey, so-and-so, so, you know, I know we saw each other on like Tuesday, but there's a concert coming up this Friday or Saturday, and I wanted to go there with you. Let's do that. So now, because we've set up distance in, in terms of you're not trying to overindulge her with your presence, that gives her the space to reach out to you, to invite you to do things, to say, hey, why don't you come over to my place this second time this week so I can see you again and I can cook for you. In effect, this is what sets up the situation for her to chase you. And as I always say, if she's chasing you, she can't be replacing you. Part of the reason I tell you guys not to text so much is because for one, you're, you're giving her space to feel for you in between dates when you're not in her presence. Like, what does it feel like to her when you don't, talk to her all the time. When you're not there all the time, we want her to have that feeling. But also, also, we want her to feel out and think that, oh, I wanna close the gap between how much we're seeing each other. And so that means I need to reach out in order to get him to want to see me more. And so that's what I mean by the distance thing, you know? Now, again, these are all, these are all very, unnatural things. And I stress this because guys have a thing about thinking, oh, I got to be my natural self and this, this, and that. And so as a guy, there's the natural proclivity to not want to play games and to be able to see the people that we like. The problem is guys don't take into account the fact that we assess if we want to be with somebody a lot faster than women. And so after one or two good dates, we're like, you know what? I made my decision. It is what it is. And so I now want to invite her into my world all the time. And that's to your detriment because you're only taking into consideration your feelings and not taking into consideration what process she needs to actually go through in order to trust herself, trust her decision to, to date you and want to see you more. So you creating distance is actually a positive thing, but it's not going to feel natural at all. It's not going to feel natural to hold back on talking to somebody that you already know you want to talk to. It's not going to feel natural to want to hold off and only see somebody once a week that you already know you could be banging right now and be seeing four or five times a week. None of this is going to feel natural, but here's the key important lesson for guys. Just because it doesn't feel natural doesn't mean that it's not right. Just because it feels not, tr not honest to not talk to her all the time or to see her all the time in the beginning doesn't mean that's not the right decision. Just like we tell women, we tell women, hey, just because you feel a thing emotionally doesn't mean that that's actually what's going on. The same is true for guys. Just because you think that what you're doing is not honest doesn't mean that that's not the right move to make. And so once you get out of your head this idea about what it means for you to be an honest guy and what it means for you to date truthfully, then you'll start to understand and be able to observe that on the women's side of things, you're getting better results when you're building in that distance. And building in distance is nothing more than just like, have a life outside of her. Like have other projects you're working on, 
have other friends you need to go see, have other things you're interested in besides just suddenly getting with her. Because look at this from the woman's perspective, right? You meet a girl on a date. She goes from literally not having known you to suddenly you're in her world. And now on your end of things, you're saying, and now you need to be in my world all the time after one or two times of seeing each other. Like to woman, that is very weird and not natural at all, all right? So just take that into consideration when you're thinking about this whole distance thing. You's a bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. Let's you are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high class man. You are high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high.